hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther mofre so in today's video i want to show you something what happens when you have two patterns in one chart for example you open your chart and you notice that you have two patterns for example this is usd card i have been trading this pair for a very long time and i know how um mess it can become sometimes they print two patterns so that they confuse us so in this case we had this you can see this is a channel break this is the easiest pattern that you can teach yourself this is the easiest pattern guys if you're watching me and you're a beginner channel break pattern either breaking at support or breaking at resistance is the easiest pattern that you can train yourself to be getting it right so we had this channel break the market broke and you know we will measure this distance you measure this distance and then the market will drop that distance so there, there is always new uh, rules for every chart pattern in this case the channel break when it breaks first it goes halfway and you can see clearly we first went halfway so we went halfway so this is the distance that we were remaining to cover the full distance so we went halfway but when i looked on my left i saw this one candle support one candle support created here that means we have now a possible double bo bottom pattern and we have a channel break so in this case what do you do guys what do you do when you have a channel break and you you are sure that the market has to drop all the way up to here and now you have a new pattern and you know possible double bottom is supporting buyer buys not buyer it's supporting to buy but the channel break at support it's supporting sell so i've come to realize like in the market everyone is right because anyone who have seen this possible double bottom they'll start buying and they are making money anyone who is stuck on this channel break they are adding trades so that the market can hit this area so what i can tell you is that when you find a situation like this when you find a situation like this the possible double bottom has more power if they break half so the possible double bottom if they break half they have more power to continue and again the channel break the channel break has more power if they break this uh, current support so it's either you wait for current support to be broken or you wait for the half to be broken to know who has power. So guys, let us try and play back because this is a uh, already happened market and see uh, if we could uh, know who has more power. Is it the possible double part, double bottom pattern or the channel break? And don't predict. You can't predict. You have to wait. So let's wait and see which side got broken so we can see buyers have more power buyers have more power so in this case i can start seeing another another pattern let me show you the pattern that i'm seeing i'm seeing a shoulder so this this can be our shoulder and then that's the neckline all of this is the head so the market might come back there so this is the shoulder and then the head so this head is not completed it has to come here if they will obey this pattern so the market breaking the half of this now it's no longer a possible double bottom but it's a, a double bottom when now the half is broken trust me the market will come here but they'll have to uh, to stay in one place trying to trap more sellers or trying to create a story so you don't need to buy here because they can obey this pattern and drop here so the area where you're supposed to buy the area where you're supposed to place your buys if when the market the price drop up to here don't don't ever place your buy on resistance you don't do that we place our buys when the market is at support so let's see what happened let's see we already know buyers are strong so even if you're selling you're not selling um for long term or holding the trade you can see the way sellers are coming in and buyers are very strong you can see buyers again are taking in the market so let's see what happens uh later on so at the moment because this is a live market at the moment our trade is here 
our trade is here so they are almost breaking this current support let me show you guys they are, can break this current support and using bwa the only strategy that i give my paid mentorship paid students bwa is the easiest of how to uh, tell in advance what the market will do if you use bwa after this candle close you will be able to get direction of this market so guys what you do when you have multiple uh, patterns you have to observe for for them for the sell if we were to sell we have to wait for the market to break this current support if we were to buy we were waiting for the half and because half is broken this market now it is preparing to do what to buy so and i have told you this can be a shoulder this is head and then the market now can come back uh, and then go back so that's how the shoulder is formed can go back here and then now they can decide either to break the neckline or go back to where the head was so if ever you find such a um a pattern where you have so many patterns you need to don't predict guys don't predict and more so when there's a channel break i've been back testing this channel break trading my own um trades where there is a channel break most of the times that we reach half if we didn't have this red candle there was no need of the market going all this way this one candle support this one candle support is as a result is the one that has caused this market to be very choppy and like lose direction so for me now when the market comes here remember i told you if the half is broken of this double bottom they'll have to do what they'll have to complete it so buyers have taken control and also you can go to weekly and see what the market is doing so if we go to weekly if we go to weekly we don't want to see uh, the market like this you see now if the market closes like this it means sellers are more stronger because buyers have not been able to remove this high so we don't want this kind of a candle we want like a spinning top a rejection candle and guys you can see in this case the market is at the it's called what the market is it's almost touching our order block so this is a good order block rejection so maybe the market will tap this order block here let me show you maybe they will tap that order block the price is 34.90 maybe they'll tap 34.90 before going up but what i can say is that whenever you have two patterns in in the inner place you have to know you have to know who is in control at the moment so that by the time you're making your decision you're in the right side because many people like for me i was selling out i had I was selling USD card and I had to come out because now I've realized that buyers are more strong. So I need to wait for this candle to close so that I can apply BWA. I know do I continue selling or do as buying or do I hope in on a sell again? Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Until next time, bye bye. Love you.